Hello Aries and Happy New Year to you, my lovely lovelies. I hope you're doing well um, and I hope you're super excited for the new year. I know I am. I always love firsts, first of the year, like new year. I love Mondays. I love the first of the month and I love the first time I succeed at something that I didn't think... Um, I'd succeed at uh, after it takes work and practice and you know all of that anyway um, this is for Aries Sun Moon Rising and really anywhere in your chart that you have Aries um, and in a certain house and you're interested in what that means so um, I'll be doing things a bit differently this year. I plan to do some um, uh, morning messages with a difference. Let's just say that. So now that you're here, thank you for being here. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe and we shall get on with your reading for January. Aries. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the One Ring Circus. All about you, my loves. Let's get this right. Every month it changes. Uh, we have Heal the Ouch. And the Wizard of Awareness. Okay, so this is a bit of a rude awakening for you. The beginning of this year it's you know how you hear people say not my monkeys not my, not my circus not my monkeys well this is you this is the only one it's a one ring circus and you're it so if you've got anything you know going on in your head if you've got any pain or, or residual um, angst from the last year it's up to you to be aware of what's yours and then how to heal it. It doesn't mean you have to heal it on your own. It just means to be aware of what is yours and what is other people's because um, it's not all ours. I mean, it's, it's not all ours and it's not all theirs. It's up to us to see see the bigger picture and to see um, the role we play in it, the role that, you know, is ours to deal with what I, I, I call it your shit and my shit. What's your shit and what's my shit? If somebody's being, you know, a pain in the ass and, and doing things that aggravate you, that's their shit. The aggravation, that's yours. So it's kind of like that and it's time to be aware of what's your shit. So let's get into the, um, the actual reading. Now for those of you who are new, welcome in by the way. And what I do is lay the cards out first. And then we do the story, read the story. So let's go. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Two of Cups. Lovely. Then we have the Ace of Swords. Really nice. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, and Ten of Cups. Mate. Nice start to the year. We have the Five of Pentacles. Judgment has been coming out an awful lot lately. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So very Capricorn energy, very down to earth um, and very self-responsible. I'll just move those across a bit so you can see. So we can see. Okay, so the current situation is the two of cups this is you know balance love give and take but it can also be um 
how are you treating yourself? How are you looking after yourself? How are you giving to yourself without being selfish? How are you giving to others without giving away parts of yourself? Um, it could also be how are you being in a relationship and looking at it back here, this one ring circus, looking at your role in this relationship. In the physical realm, um, you've got the Ace of Swords, a new plan, a new path, a new direction that you're going this year, which is perfect. Um, I like to change the wording around New Year's resolutions to um, a, a new direction or a new chapter or a new path. But a New Year's resolution has so many negative connotations to it nowadays that um, I think it's it's missed its point. So this is you deciding and planning out your new direction. And mentally, you've got it in your head. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So you know where you want to go. Mentally, you're thinking, this is who I want to be. I want to be stable, secure, generous, um, and have a sense of abundance around me, have a sense that my life is abundant as it is and be grateful for it. Emotionally, you're the king of wands, so you've got this passion and drive going with you into this new path and this development. And spiritually, your connection with, with spirit and your personal spiritual practice is the Ten of Cups. So it's very high vibration um, energy you've got in this pattern. The Wizard of Awareness is very high vibe. So you might have been doing this. You might have been healing your own shit and, and working through it to, you know, eight and three is is 11 and you know now you're coming into this real deep awareness and that's the direction you're going so it's you know it's very first Aries new year new direction new beliefs excellent what you're not seeing is the five of pentacles now this talks about uh, feeling left out in the cold, leaving others in the cold. Um, not quite sure whether you should walk through the door or not. Better the devil you know kind of energy. It might not be wonderful, but what if I go in this direction and I end up alone or I end up, you know, people leaving me because I chose to go in this new direction. Your higher self or your future self wants you to know that this is a, a, a pivotal choice moment and that you are choosing the right thing. You are doing the right healing. You are reviewing your choices, your direction, your values and beliefs, and you are healing them. So this choice you're making is leading you in the right direction. The advice is, the Ten of Pentacles, again a ten, with this beautiful energy of abundance. And the advice is to live in this vibration, live in this ab abundant vibration with the Queen of Pentacles as your mental um, concentration. With your feelings and your emotional side live in that vibration and that's what you'll attract and then the outcome will be a beautiful balance back to this beautiful balance of give and take equal share and reciprocation so great start great reading great start and great direction go you Love you lots and I will see you soon. Much love. Bye.